Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about Biomistral, a collection of open source pre-trained large language models for medical domains, right? One of the viewer mentioned that how we can use the Biomistral with Olama. Because if you go to the Olama's website and if you go to the models, and if you now search here Biomistral, it is not there, right? So my plan here is to take the Biomistral model from Hugging Face. You can just go here and source for Biomistral. I will take one of the model from there and create a Biomistral model locally using Olama. So as you can see here, I have already created the Biomistral latest. I will show you how to do this. And after we create the Biomistral, what we can do is then run a simple chain lead application like this, where we can ask the question related to medical, medical science and then it will provide the answer for us. Similarly, I will also show you how to use the same model in the open web UI. I have already created the video about this. And yeah, that's all. And I will also show you the code which I'm going to use the one that I have already used before for this Langchain Gemma Olama chain lead by just changing one line of code here. You can achieve the simple chain lead application. Let's get started. Okay, now let's go with the first step. First step is to go to the Hugging Face website and then find the Biomistral model, right? There is the description here of Biomistral. You can just read this. And also I will provide the link of this archive link here. You can just go ahead and see the, the main idea of this is that there are many large language models out there, open source ones, but they are not, let's say, tailored for the health context adapting the general purpose LLMs only. So they created this Biomistral. By the way, there are other uh, models also. For example, if you go and just type medical, there are already made Lama 2 and Meditron also. We can, we can even go and download this and try which one performs the best, right? But now I will go to the Hugging Face website and here you can just go and search Biomistral. So I will do Biomistral, right? So now you can see there are different models. One from the Biomistral themselves. And there is also the data sets, spaces also available where you can go and check these different models. You can go with any of this. Let's, let's go with the GGUF from Biomistral, right? You can click this one and it will take you to this particular place and you can see what is Biomistral here in depth again. There are 58 downloads. You can just download this or download other models if you want for example if we go again to biomistral and there is one we one from magiar panahi where there is already 253 downloads right you can just go with any of those these are the gguf versions of this particular model as it shows here model creator is biomistral original model these are the descriptions what you can do now is go to files and then download the one that you want to download I have already downloaded this. If I now go to the terminal and now if I go here and if I do ls, so you can see here I downloaded 0 Q5KM, right? If I go to the website, this is Q5KM, where it is, this one. You just go here and click the download icon. Once this is downloaded, what you can do is create a modal file in this location or you can create in any location. but it should point to this model, right? So let's see what is inside this model file. In the model file, as you can see here, I'm saying, okay, model file. And from, I'm pointing to this model. So ggml model q5km ggguf dot slash, meaning that it is from this particular directory. I'm giving the parameter stop, parameter stop, I'm start, I'm end. And this is the template, which is, which is the most important part here. Because you need to tell this uh, model how to behave or what is the template. And this, mo this can be different for different models. This is the one for Mistral. So it can be different for Lama 2 or other different uh, models. Once this is done, what you can do here is just create the model. So how to create the model? So you can just do Olama and create Bio Mistral. So B-I-O. Mistral. So if I do this bio mistral, let me give one because I already have created the bio mistral. So I said Olama, create bio mistral one. And one thing to notice is you need to already have the Olama installed in your machine. Without 
installing, of course, you can run this, right? When I run enter now, as you can see here, it is going to create a new model called BioMistral1. So it is already created. Now, if I go here and do all list, you can see that there was this BioMistral created one hour ago and now nine seconds ago, it is created BioMistral1 and it is 5.1 GB of size. How to run this now? You can just do Olama run biomistral1 right if i do this and now you can ask the questions to ask the questions what we can do is we can go to this olama's website and take some examples from this other medical domain models right so here there are some of the examples so we can just copy this control c you can go to the terminal here and we can do control v and yeah, the common cold is caused by this, this, this. So this is the answer that it provides. Now I have already also downloaded this Made Lama 2, which is in this Olama's website here. As you can see, Made Lama and Meditron, right? For this, what you can do is just run this Olama run and you can ask the question. And here is also the question example. For example, if you want to ask different, different things, I can copy this. And now if I go to the terminal, and I can ask the same question for this another model and run enter. So yeah, the patient may have COVID-19 and something like this. You, you get the idea. And yeah, this is BioMistral1. If I want to go out, I will do buy. Now let me ask the same thing with, as you can see, I have already this made Lama 2. So I can just go here and say, O Lama run made Lama 2, right? And I can ask the same questions because I have already downloaded this here and it says send the message. I will copy again this one. I will go here and I will just do control V. And now you have another model that is giving some different answer. As you can see, it says that, okay, heart symptoms suggest COPD, which is characterized by chronic inflammation. So you get the answer here. This suggests it might be COVID-19. This suggests it might be something else, right? It now depends upon your domain knowledge. What is this, right? Because this medical language models, I'm not expert in the medical language field, but you get the idea, different models, different answers. You need to be smart enough to know, okay, what is this? So you can just take this as a helper, helper model, right? I will just do here, buy, and I'm out from this. So this is how you can run this locally from the terminal, right? But many of you also maybe want to run this in a good looking chat UI. For that, what I did here in the same thing, I go to this chain lead. I have already run this, but I will do control C, cancel. I'm just using this Langchain Gemma Olama chain lead repository, which I created before. I already installed the necessary packages. I have the virtual environment already here. And the code that is it is powering is here. As you can see, the same code is here. And I just gave the model here with Olama model and BioMistral. You can change these models as you want. Now I will go to the terminal and here I will run chain lead, run the same file here. It is going to run locally. So I can go here and ask the questions. I have already asked some of the questions. Okay, what causes the seasonal flu? Just go here and run. It will provide the answer of okay, seasonal flu, this, this, this kind of things. Now you can go here and ask as many questions as you want, right? I have this same question, a 35 year old. You can go here and ask and you can see the same answer is provided in the UI also. So this is how you quickly can run in, in the chain lead applications. But then again, if you want to test different models very quickly, what you can do is this open web UI. I have already created a video about open web UI. So you can just go through that, how to run this. But from here, as you can see, you can just choose the models what you want. If I go to this new chart, here I can choose different models. So this is the thing, really good UI where you can switch between different models. So now I have this BioMistral thing here and I can go here and ask the same question. And I'll create a new chart again and I will go here, choose the model BioMistral and here I will do control V, enter. So it will provide the uh, answer for me. And now let's say that you want to change uh, the model quickly, create a new model, go here and choose MedLama2 and now ask the same question here. It will provide the answer. So you get the idea 
between these different models how you get the answer so yeah that's all for this video i hope now you get the idea how to uh, let's say create a model from uh, hugging face this is really good because once you know these concepts of creating models from hugging face you can just use any models from the hugging face website create a new model locally use that with olama and now now i just showed you how to do this in a simple looking chat ui right but what you can even do is create a rag applications i have already shown you before how to create the rag appli applications using the uh, olama models just give a try upload some pdfs or some other documents that you have and ask the questions related to that document thank you for watching and see you in the next video